Hi, Rosie Piller here. Welcome to Performing Pre-Upgrade Tasks. This is the second in a series of eight videos about upgrading Oracle BPM to 12C. If you haven't yet seen the overview video, take a look at that one first. It'll give you a high-level introduction to the entire upgrade process that I think you'll find useful. In this video, we focus on pre-upgrade tasks. Preparing for the upgrade is perhaps the most time-consuming phase of the upgrade process, but it is critical for success. There are five main subtasks that you need to perform prior to the upgrade. Let's go over each of these in turn, starting with reviewing the documentation. There's a wealth of information available, and I'd like to help you get oriented. The document titled Planning an Upgrade of Oracle Fusion Middleware introduces Oracle Fusion Middleware 12C to experienced 11G users and explains, among other things, where to get product distributions and upgrade tools. It describes in detail the supported upgrade starting points, so you can determine if your version of BPM can be upgraded, if your operating system is supported, your database, your topology, and so on. It provides detailed information on what to do to bring your environment into a supported upgrade starting point. You can then read about recommended backup and recovery strategies, as well as what to do to prepare your Oracle databases for 12C. As its name suggests, the Interoperability and Compatibility Guide helps you determine whether various Fusion middleware components of different versions or releases will work together in a supported configuration. For example, certain components in your environment may need to be updated before you upgrade to BPM Suite 12C. This document will guide you through the process of identifying relevant components, determining version information, and avoiding specific interoperability and compatibility issues. There are a lot more documents than the two I just mentioned. In fact, there's a set of pages that organizes the 1213 documents to make it easier to find what you need. This is the Upgrade and Patch tab of the Install, Patch, and Upgrade page for 12.1.3. It includes links to help you plan, execute, and troubleshoot your upgrade. The Install tab links to resources to help you install your development environment, your production environment, and additional products. The Books tab provides access to 1213 books that address administration, concepts, installation, interoperability, and upgrade and patching. Each title is available in a variety of formats. Of particular interest to us in this conversation are the books in the Upgrade and Patching section. Notice there's an upgrade guide dedicated to upgrading SOA Suite and business process management. As you probably already know, the Upgrade Video tab has links to all of the videos in this series. Finally, you can access the Release Notes from the Common Tasks section of the home page. Release Notes include late-breaking issues that may not always be documented elsewhere. Throughout the videos, we'll provide links to documentation on specific topics, but we highly recommend a careful reading of the relevant documentation before you begin your upgrade. After you've reviewed the documentation and verified that your environment meets the system, certification, compatibility, and interoperability requirements, the next task is to create a complete backup of your 11G environment including the database. Why? Much of the upgrade occurs in place, meaning that it makes changes to your existing installation that cannot be undone. If anything goes wrong, you will need a full backup to be able to restore your environment and try the upgrade again. There are a number of additional pre-upgrade tasks that are critical to perform at this stage. If you are using a 32-bit operating system, Upgrade to 64-bit and verify that it is working properly. 
Create and upgrade a test copy of your production environment, a clone, to identify and resolve any issues before upgrading the live production environment. The Administering Oracle Fusion Middleware Guide has a section on moving from a test to a production environment, and you can use the techniques described in that document to go the other way, creating a test copy of your production environment. Also, note that SOA 12C uses work managers for the most part, so any thread configurations in your SOA 11G application will not be carried over when you upgrade. Use your test environment to tune your application and capture performance tuning settings, which you can then reapply right after the upgrade, minimizing downtime. For details, refer to Tuning the SOA Infrastructure in the Tuning Performance Guide. To save time migrating 11G data to 12C, purge any instance data that you no longer need to retain. You can get information on purging scripts in the document you see listed here. It's a good idea to resolve faulted or suspended instances as well, to leave fewer loose ends. The upgrade will overwrite some startup scripts and configuration files, so if you have customized these, save off a copy before you upgrade so you can reapply those customizations after the upgrade is complete. These tasks and others are important for you to consider before you begin the upgrade in earnest, and they are described in more detail in the Performing General Pre-Upgrade Tasks section of the Upgrading SOA Suite and Business Process Management Guide. The next pre-upgrade task has to do with upgrading file-based policy stores. File-based policy stores can be configured in BPM 11G, although they are not recommended for production environments. BPM 12C does not allow file-based policy stores at all, so if and only if your 11G environment uses one, you need to create a database-based repository and reassociate your policy store with this new repository. After validating that the repository is working correctly, you'll need to back up your environment one more time. You can get details on reassociating your file-based policy store in the section titled Reassociating the OPSS Security Store in the Oracle Fusion Middleware Application Security Guide for the 11G release. Of course, if your 11G installation already uses an LDAP or database-based repository, then you can skip these steps. So you've reviewed the documentation and ensured that your environment met the requirements. You've done a full backup and performed a few other tasks to prepare your environment for the upgrade. And if you previously had a file-based policy store, you've upgraded that to a database-based store and taken another backup. Now you're ready for the last of the pre-upgrade tasks, installing the 12C infrastructure and SOA BPM software. We devote an entire video to that subject. Until now, it's been mostly talk, but starting with the Installing 12C software video, you'll get to see some demos. I'm Rosie Piller. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.